Namaste students. Today I am going to discuss about the artificial media. So uh, in the previous video we discussed about the culture media which are natural media. The media, natural media means the media which are natural in condition means they are biological in nature. For example, the serum is a biological in nature. So that is a uh, natural media. But this serum is also added to the artificial media also. So that is also in the artificial media. Okay, what is the serum? Serum is the liquid, uh, yellow is part of the blood. Liquid yellow is part of the blood, which is isolated from the blood in the coagulant form, in the agglutinant form. And uh, this uh, serum is left over after fibrin and cells are removed from uh, blood cells are removed and the left is remaining the serum. The most used uh, serum is the bovine, fetal bovine serum, uh, which is used for the growth of animal cells in the animal cell culture media. Okay, uh, in most of the uh, culture media, 10% of the serum is used. What is the benefit of uh, this serum? Serum provides the basic nutrients to the cells. It provides some hormones, growth factors, and also it contains some uh, defense mechanism that will pro um, protect the cell. So on the basis of serum uh, composition and serum presence and absence, there are two types of media, uh, serum containing media and serum free media. Okay, two types of media, serum containing media and serum free media. And similarly, artificial media are of four types, serum containing media, serum free media, and chemical defined media and the protein free media. So these are the four types. Uh, first, we discuss about the serum containing media. The media which contains serum in its composition is known in the serum containing media. It means it is artificial media. Of course, it is art artificial media, but it also contains serum. So it is semi, uh, semi artificial or semi natural media. So we can say uh, it. Bo fetal bovine serum is the most common uh, supplement uh, which is used in the uh, serum containing media and it is used as low cost supplement and serum provides some different types of nutrients, hormones, growth factors, proteases, inhibitors and similarly it will neutralize some toxic uh, moieties. So what are the advantages of serum in the media and what are the disadvantages of the serum in the media? Serum contains various growth factors and hormones which stimulate cell growth. And what is the disadvantage? It do not have uniformity in the composition. Means the composition of a media will change after addition of the serum. Uh, for example, if we are dependent only on the serum, Suppose that we are depending only on the serum that this will uh, this will be helpful for the growth of the cell that then it may be possible that this serum may or may not contain all the nutrients. Okay, it varies serum to serum. Okay, so that they do not have any uniform nutrients. The next advantage is it helps in the attachment of the cells. Means uh, uh, there are two types of cells, uh, adherent cells and the second one is which will float in the uh, media. So for the adherent cells, it will help in the attachment of those cells. What is the disadvantage? Uh, the serum 
need to be tested before the culture. Serum acts as a spreading factor. It acts as a buffering agent also and will maintain the pH also. It functions as a binding in the protein and minimize the mechanical damage. So these are the advantages of the serum. What are the disadvantages? Uh, as you know that it needs some testing before the conduction of the experiment and it may contain some growth inhibiting factors also which are not required in the process. It increases the risk of contamination because the serum and the blood may contain some microorganisms in themselves. So there may be any risk of the contamination. Presence of serum in the media may interfere with the production and isolation of the culture products. So that is also a uh, disadvantage. The next one is serum free media. Uh, this type of media which do not contain any kind of serum is known as the serum free media. And why we do not add the serum because the serum may lead to some serious problems. For example, in, for the immunological studies and some may sometimes the contamination. So these serious problems can be eliminated by removal of the serum from the media. And the media which do not contain serum is known as the serum free media. And these media are generally specially formulated to support the culture of a single type of cell. Okay, not all type of cells. They are for the single type of cells and contains different growth factors, lipoproteins, proteins, which are, provide, which are necessary for the growth. And we can also say that and this is the defined culture media. The next one is the chemical defined media. Chemical defined media is the media which contains some chemical constituents. These media contain some contamination free, ultra pure, inorganic and organic ingredients. And similarly, uh, some proteins, growth factors are also added to these chemically defined media. So what the meaning of chemical defined means it contains chemicals, which chemicals, the organic and inorganic and ingredients are the chemicals and their constituents are produced in the bacteria and disease and genetic engineering with the addition of vitamins, cholesterol, specific amino acid, and fatty acids. The next one is protein-free media. Uh, this media do not contain any kind of proteins. So that is the protein-free media and they are compared to the serum supplemented media. So that's all about the culture media. In the next video, we will discuss another topic. Thank you very much.